Good evening. Welcome po sa Nags of Wisdom in the Book of Proverbs, day 41. At bago po tayo magpatuloy sa ating pag-aaral, sama po ninyo ako sa isang panalangin. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Lord! Lord, You are our light and our salvation, whom shall we fear? Lord, You are stronghold of our life, of whom shall we afraid? Salamat Panginoon sa pagtutagot namin, Panginoon, sa oras na ito. Sa gabi nito, Lord God, that You abide us, Panginoon, giving us, Panginoon, ng strength for the whole day. Lord, pagpapalain po kami, Panginoon, sa isang mensahe na ito, and we learn something new, and something good is going to happen to us, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord God. Pagpalain po yung mga salita na ito. Salamat, Lord. Hide me in the shadows of your wings. Kayo lang po, mga Panginoon, ang mahikita, ang pupuray, pupurihin namin, Panginoon. Wala nang iba, Panginoon. Latas namin yung pangalan, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, sa yung mga mensahe na ito. And I pray sa aking mga kapatid na nagkikinig ngayon, Lord, na buksa mong bawat puso, bawat mata, bawat din, na marinig, makita, maunawaan na yung mga salita. Salamat, Lord. Peace out for you, Lord. Give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. So our topic for today is about Proverbs chapter 7, verse 1 to 5. But uh, the introduction for this is about the message. It's on the Father's instruction to his son in how important to keep and obey his word of instruction by keeping and treasuring them in order to not to fall in the trap of a seductress and immoral woman. And the objective for Dito is to let the believers know that it's hard for a man to resist any incoming temptations through his own knowledge and understanding. The believers need to understand that only God's word can establish the wisdom that men needed in order to stop or block any temptations. Upang pumaan, maunawaan, at ipinapaalam po no, ng tatay po dito na ang hangarin po dito ay ang kung anong pundar ng tokso sa pamagitan ng kanyang sariling kaalaman at pangunawa, hindi po ito mareresist ng tao sa kanyang pong, sarili pong kaalaman. Kailangan po maunawaan at maniwala na ang salita lamang ng Diyos ang magtatatag ng karunungan na kinakailangan ng tao. So we need wisdom. So the main uh, text, full text po dito babasahin natin under uh, NKJB version. Sa so, po sa Proverbs chapter 7 verse 1 to 5. My son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live and my law as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding your nearest kin, that they may keep you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words. There are two nuggets of wisdom listed po dito sa five uh, verses po dito. We go into uh, Set, aside, uh, set po dito uh, verse 1 to 2 sabi po nagin sudan number 1 why do we need to keep them to keep listen and believe from the word of God sabi po sa verse 1 my son keep my words and my treasure and treasure my commands within you keep my commands and live and my law as the apple of your eye why do we need to keep, listen, and believe God's word? Sayo po sa Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. We need the word of God while we live. What we will do and where should we go? Kailangan po natin ang salita ng Diyos. Ito po magtatatag po sa atin. Keeping on the commands, beginning with knowing them, treasuring them, and to meditate on them. Pagbibigay po ng higit ng pagpapahalaga dito. Treasuring them are more valuable than any riches, silvers, and fine gold. As it said in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13 to 15, also in KJV version, Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver, and her gain than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, 
and all the things you may desire cannot compare with her. Nothing can compare in the word of God. They are so precious that even a single death remain untouched. Hindi po pwedeng tanggalin. Ganun po. Kahit po isang tuldok lamang, hindi po pwedeng tanggalin sa word of God. Ganun po, kaimportante po. May kakayahang magbigay ng panibagong lakas o sigla sa tao, physically or spiritually. Yung po magagawa po ng word of God po sa atin. No? Magbibigay po ng panibagong lakas, sigla, kakayahan, katalinuhan sa bawat isa. Sa pagdarating man ng oras na kalipitan, pagkagambala o distress at mga worries, fears and anxiety sa buhay, it can provide enlightenment and favor you need in everyday life. Sa ko ng Psalmist in the Psalms chapter 9, 119, verse 105, also in the KJ version, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Kahit ang iyong pananalita ay magbabago. If you read and read and hearing and hearing the word of God. Magbibigay ng magandang katuroan sa mga makakausap mo. The words can come out of your mouth to be as, as sweet as honey. It can give good advices, inspirations, comfort, and encouragement. Hindi lang po sa iyong sarili, kundi sa iyong mga makakausap din. Psalms chapter 119 verse 103 ang sabi po dito, How sweet are your words to taste to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Above all, always keep them on your sight. Magbasa palagi ng Bible verses. Make them as the apple of your eyes. Yung po ang ating nuggets of wisdom number one. Ang nuggets of wisdom number two, why do we need to accept and obey the word of God? Bagay po natin, kailangan po i-accept at obey. Mag-obey sa word of God. Sa so, sa verse 3, 4, and 5 of Proverbs 7, Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart, Say to wisdom, you are my sister. Call understanding your nearest kin, that they may keep you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words. Immoral woman or seductress, it represents the deceiver. And if the sun falls on the trap, he will be in danger to obtain sin. And this will lead him to his own destruction. Ang immoral daw po na babayo sa doctress ay kumakatawan sa isang manluloko. Ang paalala po ng ama sa kanyang anak dito ay maaaring mahulog ito sa bitag ng manluloko at magkaroon ng kadahilan na siya ay magkasala. At ang pagkakasala ng ito ay hahantog sa kanyang sariling pagkawasak. The deceiver is skillful, tunay na dalubhasa po. Napakadalubhasa ng deceiver. It has the ability to influence someone to do what he wants. He know how to trick in a nice or a rude manner. He was excellent in doing things and until the person will end doing sin again and again. And that sinful manner becomes a habit. Mahirap at tanggalin po pag ito po ay naging habit na. That is why Solomon counseled his son to have a living, breathing, and relationship with the word of God. It should not be only it should not only on his mind but also in his heart. Hindi lang po, sayo po ng ama dito, si Romel, hindi lang natin sinasa isip ang salita ng Diyos, kundi po dinalagay po natin ito sa ating puso. Ito po yung ating pinagpapahalagaan at mamahalin ng tunay. The wisdom and the power of God's word help to keep you from the immoral woman or man. Mula sa salita ng Diyos, matutuduran mo ang paninin, panlilin lang at diskarte ng kasalanan at tukso. You may know the right or wrong. Malalaman mo din sa wakas ang naresulta ng kasalanan at ang mga gandang pakinabang sa pagsunod dito. That all the, that's the benefit of being obedient. And that is our nuggets of wisdom number two. Why do we need to accept God's word? So nga din pong main conclusion dito. The whole message as Solomon instructed to do is to be patient in reading and learning God's word in the Bible because the scriptures contain important instruction and guidance on how we should live rightly. 
and you shall meditate on them daily to gain wisdom. So, yun po yung ating uh, uh, the whole passage for today na ating pag and I uh, pray that everybody will have their hearts that na maintain po dito is about the Proverbs chapter 7, verse 1 to 5. How do we keep the words and treasure the commands of, the, of God? Salamat po. Uh, before uh, we're going to end, saman po niyo ako sa isang closing prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the word that we heard tonight, Lord. And I pray, O oh God, na bawat isa po, Panginoon, they're going to meditate your word day and night. So may understand it fully, Panginoon, magkakaroon po ng wisdom na kailangan namin, Panginoon, sa pang-araw-araw na buhay. Salamat, Lord, sa paggabay mo sa amin, talagang ito. And I pray, O oh God, para po magwahiwalay, your blessings, Panginoon, and narinit na bawat isa. Salamat, Lord. We give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Do not forget po to uh, support po ang ministry, ang church, na sa, ano po, sa ating Facebook at uh, sa YouTube channel. Salamat po. Good night and God bless. Mm-hmm.